cold fronts. Oh man, are those two words that most every bass angler hates. Well, first off, when we go down to the lake, okay, we're walking to the shoreline, getting in the boat, fishing along the bank, and we see nothing, no life whatsoever. There's no minnows, there's no panfish, I mean nothing. We know that it's probably gonna be a tough day. So here is what I have learned over the last 12 months. I like to find an isolated piece of cover. So right here, this is the bay that I live on on my home lake. This is my dock. This is the floating pontoon I've got right here. And this is the first major piece of cover in this bay. When you come into it, this is the first thing that you run across. It is isolated. There are usually fish here of all kinds underneath this pontoon all of the time. Okay, so when you're dealing with cold front conditions, think about those places where bass normally are at. That's going to be where your starting point is, your focus point. If you're on a new body of water, look for some isolated cover, okay? Something that's on its own, that you believe is a high percentage area, then apply this technique. So I put the camera right here at this piece of cover submerged it and started to follow the slope down. And this particular bay bottoms out around that nine and a half, 10 foot mark. And as soon as the slope stopped, right where that edge stops, where it's coming down, tapering down, and then bottoms out, every single time I found life. I started to find panfish swimming around down there, and you've heard me say in this channel a million times, find the life, find the bass, right? Well, as soon as I found the panfish, boom, there was bass there as well. There were smaller bass down there swimming around, and there was better bass down there. And the big takeaway here is that the bass do not move as far away from the original piece of cover or the original piece of structure as I thought they did. Consistently, they go from where they were just right down to the bottom edge of it. And depending on the slope of the lake bed, okay, it's not that far horizontally, not that far laterally. I was absolutely just amazed that every time I would surface that camera, once I found them, it was only a few feet from the dock. It was crazy. I've always been fishing too far away from them. My lures weren't anywhere near them. I need to be thinking about where were they, go to the bottom edge of it. And one thing I really wanna point out is look how close this fish is to the bottom. I mean, right there on the bottom, just a couple inches off the bottom. And even as the fish was a little bothered by the camera and starting to swim away, maintained that close bottom contact. This fish was so tight down here, and this applies to other fish I've found as well filming you know, after cold fronts, they'd be hard to pick up on electronics, especially when you have other things like rocks or a stick down there. They're gonna be hard to pick out. So you've got to have the confidence and the belief that they are in this area, that you're in a spot, and I don't know about you, but when I'm not catching fish, I start to get kind of in a panic mode and I start moving quicker, searching more, where in this situation, we need to do just the opposite. This is gonna be a soak, 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 not a search, search, search. We're gonna to wanna to make repeated casts to what we believe is this high percentage area. Now with these bass so close to the bottom, sitting right down there like this, I'm probably going to be picking things, maybe like a Ned rig or what really pops into mind first is a shaky head with an Elastec worm on it. Okay, so that worm is floating straight up, upright. I don't want it to fall over into the muck in the bottom on the bottom of the lake. I want it to sit there. And as an angler, I'm going to have to be patient and leave it sit and sit and sit and sit and sit and just let it look as natural as possible as you can probably picture in your mind's eye the fish coming right up to it and just sitting there forever and looking at it this is not an aggressive bite situation where they're going to see it fall and just annihilate it they're going to come up and look and look and look and look and if it doesn't look natural if it has big movements to it, they're probably gonna get skittish and turn away. And I think this is going to apply and translate to just about any body of water, and especially your home water. 
I spend a lot of time filming myself as well. And I'll tell you what, there is something that I learned from watching myself fish, a mistake that I consistently make over and over and over, and I know it was holding me back. If you're curious to see what it is and see if you do the same thing, go ahead and watch this video right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.